Alright, here we go. Today I've got another unboxing. This one is from our friends over at Duck and Cover Coatings. We ran into each other on Gab's social and got to talking and, and uh, you know, the cat that runs the place was like, hey, I dig what you're doing. And I'm like, hey, I dig what you're doing. You want to sponsor a video? And uh, he's like, yeah, what do you got in mind? So I said, hey, I've got this top to a Glock 19 that's old and looks like trash. Uh, it's beat down pretty hard. It's been an everyday carry for about seven years. Could you make it not suck anymore? And they're like, yeah, send it to us. So I did. And it took uh, the people at Duck and Cover Coating approximately about a week to uh, to get this thing prepped and coated and shipped back out to me. So I'm excited. I want to see what's in the box. I want to see what's in the box. Excuse me. I'm excited. I'm very excited about this. I was a little leery sending my Glock top out to a complete stranger, but let's see what he did. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Slick. Nothing else in the box. Let's uh let's put it on the gun and see on the lower. I got my lower right here. Looks like he cleaned everything up real good for me. All right. So there she is. It's definitely a different look. Not exactly what I was expecting, but it definitely is a new, new, unique look. I don't think I've ever seen one with that kind of a pattern uh, Cerakoted into it. I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. Looks good, and it looks like almost like a brand new gun. Let's shoot it. I got a little bit of ammo out here. Let's shoot this gun, eh? Got to feed it some ammo first. Ah, oh, see, I'm curious. Did he get my sights pushed back in the right? Got a dead round. That's not right. There's no way we get two dead rounds, right? That's weird. You get three dead ones in a in a magazine. That's odd. Yeah, you might get one every once in a while. Three in one mag. Huh. That is peculiar. I mean, that couldn't possibly be from the Cerakote, the work that he did Cerakoting it. I wonder why in the world that thing is failing to fire. Let's load some more into it and see. I got a box of uh, the Feochi 115 grain, 9mm full metal jackets out here. Let's throw a few of these in here. 
and uh, make sure that we don't. Uh, I mean, that ammo's been in that magazine for a while, but nothing long enough to really be like, oh, it's it's uh, the ammo went bad. I don't think so. You know, like I said, uh, I believe that ammo that was in that gun or in that magazine came from uh, the stockpile of Midwest Midwest ammunition. I believe that's what that ammo was, and that is uh, remanufactured ammunition. And occasionally, I do have some issues with uh, just failing to fire, but it just seems weird that many of them back to back. Let's uh, let's shoot a few more out of it. Look at that proper grip. Hmm. All right, so it's not the gun. It must have just been a freak with uh, a couple pieces of bad ammunition. I, I don't know, weird light primer strikes. I don't think it's the gun. I don't think it's anything that uh, Duck and Cover did. You know, all they did was just strip it down and uh, ser clean it up, Cerakote it, and put it back together. So I, I, I am going to just chalk that up to having a couple of pieces of ammunition that just... Uh, weird i don't know hi i really just don't know if you know why don't you tell me in the comments section you know that it's a damn shame but it's still a fact that 90 percent of the people that watch therapy range haven't taken the time to hit the subscribe button you guys are killing me over here you know and it's even worse over at rumble it's almost like 98 99 percent of the people that are watching the videos on rumble haven't taken the time to subscribe yet Let's shoot it gangster style. That's just silly. All right, so I am absolutely loving my newly Cerakoted Glock 19 slide from Duck and Cover Coatings. Make sure and check them out at Duck and Duck and Duck and Cover Coatings. I'll be sure to uh, put a link in the the description of the video so you guys can find them. And uh, I'm going to edit in some photos of this top before we got it seracoded, so you guys can see uh, the before and after. I'm pretty happy with it. I can't complain. It wouldn't do me no good to complain anyway. I guess some of you might listen, but I doubt if many of you have any fucks to give. Be sure to go over and check us out on Rumble. I've already got Rumble-only content over there, so if you're subscribed here on YouTube, you're missing out. There's, there's already content posted over on Rumble that you haven't seen yet. You should go check it out. As we progress... In this adventure of content creating, there's going to be more and more rumble-only content. YouTube sucks. The only thing that sucks about rumble right now is it takes forever to upload a video. It's time to shut up and shoot. Oh, are you kidding me? So weird because we're getting we're getting primer strikes they're just very light primer strikes until next time live your life to the fullest because anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you go over and check out duck and covers coatings I like the coating they put on it um, <clears throat> I'll do a follow-up video in a month or so after I've carried this for uh, for a month or so and see how this coating holds up. 
that was my issue with the last coating that was done on it is that it just wasn't durable enough to stand up to the test of time so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if this holds up to the test of time now I mean I understand that coatings are gonna wear off if it's a carry gun you're going to wear the coating off the last time that this top was coated the coating started wearing off within a couple of weeks um, in my opinion, I think that this should be durable for at least a few months before you start seeing holster wear on it, or a significant holster wear on it. Stay free, America. We'll talk again real soon. I got 500, 500 Magnum ammo now. Yeah, that's going to happen again here real soon. And I got a bunch of pumpkins over here. Yeah, yeah, I already bought the Tannerite. It's going to happen in a couple of days. I'll be at the Sharonville Gun and Knife Show this weekend in Cincinnati, Ohio. If you're local, stop by and see me. I'd love to see you guys. Take care. It's time to shut up and shoot. Hi, here we go.